Missouri. Missouri. For the first time this year. Michael Vernon, the transfer from Oregon State, serving. Sands. And we're back on the way. I live. The Tigers getting closer and closer. Oh, boy. It's all in serve or receive right now. This this sets all serve receive. Keep that ball on your side. When Texas has not lost back-to-back -back five setters in 21 years. Here is Island. Match point on the way for Missouri. Trying to take down number nine Texas in Austin. Oh boy. Vernon for the win. Oh, we can. Skinner. And we're still alive. We're still alive. Speed Skinner. She has three national championships. She knows what it's like to play under the most amount of pressure you could possibly give her. Match point can we keep it point. alive? Oh, 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 what was this? Oh, oh. Oh, no, we lost by five points short. Darn. Darn. Taken down the Texas Longhorns in five in Austin. Their first win. Here in Austin since 2002, and the Longhorns dropping back to back five sets. Missouri to have lost the a game if if Texas wins it and Missouri completely yeah. it from their block to their game plan, which was get Texas out of wow. Serves, hit at we the lost. Fingertips. Even when their offense started making errors, it was close. It was barely out. Then they would fix it. And it was just an all-around great performance. Just a massive win for Dawn Sullivan in just her second year in charge of the program at Missouri. It was named SEC co-coach of the year last year. And this season beats a ranked team for the first time. Former Longhorns celebrating together. Jenna Gabriel, a member of Missouri's coaching staff, and Marina Crown over her setter, the three-time SEC setter of the week and former Longhorn, helping shock her old team in Gregory Gym. Wow. What a statement. You can't make more of a statement if you're Dawn Sullivan and her team than beating one of the best teams in history of NCAA volleyball under one of the best coaches in history, Jared Elliott. It's now on record, now is 12 and 5, 7 and 2, and Missouri goes 16 and 5, 7 and 2. We both have a tie overall record. We do have a tie overall record. Oh boy. Lost at 5 to the Aggies last week, had 8 days off. And welcome to Missouri team that was receiving votes in the top 25 poll. A very good Missouri team to Austin. And now Missouri is tied with Texas after this win for first place in the SEC. And at least right now, the and Tigers, Missouri the is tied with Texas. And the best thing to me with the offense is the And we do have a tie well, record, tie really for first. And we're wow. now joined by the former Texas Longhorn, the Austin native, Marina Crownover. Marina, congratulations on the win. What do you Her team could have right could have lost the game. I have so much joy. Um, my team did it for me, and they showed out, and I'm just so proud of them. I'm so proud of us for fighting and uh, just battling on their home court. So, Marina, I know there's a lot of things you're proud of beating your former team in your hometown. What's the number one thing you are proud of from your team tonight? I think it's just their grit. I mean, they fought so hard for this win, and in the locker room, they were like, we're going to win it for you. And I just think it's so special that I have people around me that are that just love me unconditionally and want to work so hard. For and we how lost. Surreal, how surreal walking into this building as a now Missouri Tigers. Yeah, I think all week I is now had a now have a tie record. And I think stepping on the court, being back in Gregory, 
Greg is, wow. is just crazy, but um, once game time, I, I locked in and I was ready to go. And you certainly time. did. Congratulations, Marina. Thank you. Thank you. Marina crowned over 51 assists, 10 wow. leagues, a couple of aces. She hit 857. <laughs> she did it all in the victory, Shelby. And blocking at the front. She got some touches up Looks there. Looks like she got all the kills. fans are heading back she to where they have to be, including the fans here at the University of Texas and the other fans from the University of Missouri. Her team could have lost the game. Marina crowned over. Emotional night with family. Yet she grew up in Austin, went to St. Stephen's Episcopal, and put together wow. a show tonight against her old team. Missouri improves to 16 and 5 on the year. 7 and 2 in SEC play now, tied for first with the Longhorns in conference play. For Shelby Coppage, I'm Alex Loeb. We thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. We'll see y'all next time. And our final score is two to three.